All right, we're back at Sandland on a nice snowy day. First real snow we've had this winter. And of course, Sandland is where we have our underground speakeasy known as the Sandbar. If you're not familiar with the Sandbar, check out my part one and two videos on digging it. And if you're not familiar with Sandland, check out some of my videos on that. I'll put links down below. All right, let's see how the bar is doing. So down here in the Sandland tunnels, it's about 100% humidity at all times. So everything's molding, including George Washington here. And uh, we had this donation of a lot of expired beer. Uh, some of it's gone off a little bit. Some people uh, apparently don't like it. So uh, apparently someone neglected to finish a couple of them. And they've started to grow some very interesting uh, science experiments on the top. Let's take a look at these with the black light. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know what's going on, but I don't want to drink it. So I've got one of these cheap new headlamps from the hardware store and you can tell it's cheap because you can see the refresh rate on the LED and it just It wigs out the camera, but you can actually see it in real life if you move your hand fast enough. It's uh, um, It's not very comfortable to wear or look at All right, you can see the refresh rate a little bit on this uh, pocket flashlight Not quite as bad as the headlamp though. It's a, a Kodiak apparently and it's got a bear on it, but um, yeah, these are cheap, and I think they're cheap for a reason. All right, we're trying a uh, name brand flashlight, and it is much easier on the eye and much easier on the camera. If you are looking for a light that doesn't cause the crazy flicker, go with a Coast. All right, the sandbar is fun, but it's currently pretty cramped, so if we have a group of any size, it's easier to sit around outside the tunnels. When it's cold like this, it'd be nice to have a place inside where we can sit and hang out. So let's pop back home and see if we can do something about the seating situation. So every bar needs some tables, and what better table for an underground bar than a manhole cover? Got a couple of these. As you can see, I'm super, super strong. I can just uh, whip these around in my hands. They're actually resin or plastic. Uh, these are prop manhole covers from a movie studio, I guess. I got them at an auction. I don't know if they were actually used in a movie, but they're not actually that heavy. Um, they're kind of cool. I don't have a use for them in my house, so why not bring them out to Sandland and make them into tables at the bar? I don't necessarily want to start drilling holes in these because they look kind of cool as is. So I'm going to take some of these uh, scrap PVC pipes and try to make a table base that can be drilled into the floor of my sandbar, maybe with cement, maybe just drill a hole in the ground, and then uh, some supports on top, and maybe I'll just put a bolt or a washer through the center hole on the lid there and kind of clamp everything together. That way there's no permanent alterations to these movie props. If I wanted to use them somewhere else or for another project, I could. The reason I'm using PVC is because it'll last longer than wood. I thought about building a wood frame for this, but it'll just rot down there. It's really high humidity, so we want something that's going to last underground close to forever. Okay, I'm going to try a different approach with this second table. If this works better, I might go ahead and uh, retrofit that first one. Alright, this works way better than the other janky design. It's way more solid too, especially once that pipe will be in the ground. And then I'll bury the last couple feet of that pipe so this will be down at seating level versus uh, standing level. I think I'm going to do the other manhole the same way as this one because that thing I did before, it's just silly. This is a much better mount for it. Alright, let's go back out to Sandland and start some digging. I think I may have encountered a problem with pre-assembling this. All right, I was kind of afraid that would happen. Um, I can take this apart. It's just a little bit of a pain to get it back together again. So 
so people keep donating random beverages to the sandbar. Sometimes I don't even know what's going to be down here the next time I come down. And just like that expired beer, all this other stuff is growing mysterious mold on it. It's, like I said, 100% humidity in here, and there's uh, apparently enough nutrients on the surface of some of these boxes and bottles to just grow all kinds of fuzzy stuff. Now, a good bartender will never let beer go to waste. That's alcohol abuse. Fortunately, I have a solution to this. Give it a good uh, rough cleaning. Get some of that uh, surface mold off. And then, I've got some really old Everclear in this bottle. So, I'm going to disinfect the top of that beer can. As with many of the things on this channel, I don't recommend doing this at home. In fact, I don't recommend digging an underground speakeasy out of sandstone under your house. Unless you have sandstone under your house, in which case, awesome. All right, that's enough screwing around. It's time to build a home for our bar table. And to do that, we're going to build a booth into the wall right here. First off, I'm going to kind of mark out where I want to carve, and then we're just going to go to town with the jackhammer. That's a good start. I can always make this bigger if I want to later. We've got our basic booth alcove. Now I just need to get that table in here, so I need to drill a hole in the floor, put that post in. I'm sorry the last few minutes of this video are so dark. I had been working on this all day long, and all of my flashlight batteries were dead at this point. This is working pretty well. Um, it is a little cramped in here, so yeah, next time I'll probably make this bigger, but uh, it works for now. It's a uh, Pretty good bar booth. I'm not 100% sure if this table is actually level since I forgot to bring my bubble level out, but I um, can fix that next time too. We can adjust the uh, bottom of that. It'd be nice to have a little extra space in here because it is getting rather full of stuff in this bar. All right, so that's about it for this video. Um, I do still have to clean up all this sand on the floor, but uh, we'll do that off camera and We'll come back here, we'll make this a little bigger, we'll keep pushing the sandbar out that direction, and we'll probably do another one of these booths, because as you saw, I have another manhole cover. So stay tuned for those, and whatever else we do down here in the sandbar. Those will all be future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.